whatever. This, so this is a high speed class. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple different demos. We're gonna talk about high speed. Uh, we're gonna talk about different kinds of shutters and uh, stuff like that. And uh, just as kind of an overview. As a strange thing that's happening today, we've got a film crew uh, here filming what goes on at RIT, as specifically the high speed class. So in this demonstration today, I'd like to do two different demonstrations. The first demonstration is the classic balloon popping. The idea is that if you can control the situation, you can take pictures that other people cannot take because to take these double drips here, you could probably get that one out of a thousand shots. We can get that every single time. We can program the camera to take a thousand pictures like that while we go out for coffee. And you have won in this world if you can program a camera to do something while you're out drinking coffee. You have won. Because it doesn't matter what you got that camera doing, you can go out and just, you can be sleeping. Imagine if you had a camera do stuff while you were sleeping. Cha-ching. Like sweet dreams, cha-ching, what's waking me up, cha-ching, cha-ching. So, uh, so for years I did that. I'm like, I want a camera to do something while I'm sleeping. What would be the best thing for that camera to do work for me? Time-lapse plant photography. Yeah, so I owned 50% of the whole worldwide market in plant time-lapse photography. So I did like, Britney Spears perfume commercial. You guys remember that, right? Probably not. But anyhow, she did a she did a commercial one. She she had. A, but anyhow, I did all these like plants and time lapse flowers. But the whole reason for doing that is like I wanted a camera to do work for me while I was sleeping, or doing something else. So have you know, build stuff? Have the camera work for you, so that you know you can you can do all this stuff. You anything you can dream up, you can probably build, and that puts you apart from normal photographers. So that's primarily what this class is about, taking you into areas that, that are not normal photography. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this be good. That's good, yeah. I don't, don't have any fun, no fun, okay? If you were to just pop these balloons, the chance of you being able to get this balloon half popped would be very small. We're going to use physics to help us out here because we've got a little bit of water in there. And if you guys remember what happens when something goes from high pressure to low pressure, what happens to the temperature? This will make a cloud, but the cloud is only there for about a thousandth of a second. We want to pop the balloon see the cloud that the balloon makes as well as get the person's expression. We're going to use the sound of the popping balloon to set off a flash. Now our flash is, is going to be the shutter and this is something you, you probably haven't thought a lot about but instead of the shutter being controlling the time we're going to do this in a dark room and the flash is now going to be the shutter. So whatever's illuminated for that moment in time is going to be frozen. So this is a, a pretty fast flash right here. This is at a, a bit faster than one twenty thousandth of a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a microphone and a there's a, a lot of different companies that manufacture camera triggers and one that I've used for a number of years is this device, which is uh, it's a time machine. It's, it's actually made by Brian Mumford out in California. And it, it has a lot of different kinds of inputs on it. And it uh, can, can turn on and off and do all sorts of, of really cool things. Here's the sound trigger. And I'm just going to do a real super fancy setup with that. And the idea with that is I can, I can raise it up or down. So are you happy? Yeah. Okay. All right. Lights. Shutter and open now. Go. Lights. Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh, there goes our background. That was a lot of water. There goes our background. <laughs> that should be a good one, though. So it's half half ripped, and it works. I put the whole bottle in. Okay, careful, don't. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's nice. I like I like when it has this water water vapor around it. Go. Ah. <laughs> okay. Next. Why is it still bright? Oh no, that was me. We got our last one here. Now the the, the pressure the pressure is on here, so there can be no failures. This is his new. This will be my avatar on. Just be careful. On everywhere. Be <laughs> it's got to be murderous. Ooh, that was wet. <laughs> I think that was yours. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Did that turn out? He's so mad. Yeah, that's all on purpose. I don't know if I want to listen to his podcast. He looks mad. That's actually really impressive of how you kept your eyes open. Because no one else yeah. did. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. That's awesome. And this is really what it's all about, is either building systems that, that routinely take pictures, or uh, building systems that have never taken pictures before. No one's ever done something before, but you build something to get the job done. And the camera does all the work for you. And if that's uh, kind of an annoying thing that the camera does all the work and you're not really the photographer, you're more the, the creative director of where to, to build the code or where to put the flash or, or what is else is going on. But that's really what high speed's about. There's never gonna be anybody out there at a high speed shoot typically hitting a button and being like, okay, now action, it's, it's pretty much all gonna be under computer control.